Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABOP, and I'm excited to share with you custom IMG structures because it's something that is underutilized. It's something that can benefit um, a lot of you know a lot of users, at least the technical users, the admin users, the folks that maintain SAP, because it allows you. Let's go ahead and go into the SPRO transaction and the IMG. It allows you to add your own custom structures to the IMG. So I see here I have my company's config, financial accounting, accounts payable, uh, something totally unrelated, but I put the ABAP editor in there, have a basis subtree, have manage users, which actually kind of could be a basis function, but I'm going to show you in this episode how to create your own custom configuration in the IMG so that you're able to kind of keep track of all the custom config that you do in your custom um, Z tables or maybe it's just some transaction that you know you're going to use a lot and you want to be able to find it so you might put it in a structure like this. So there is a transaction. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. Um, there's a little more complicated ways. There's things you can do to um, you know just just make it a little fancier but I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and um, delete the structure that I've already created, and then we'll create it again or something similar from scratch. So let me pause the video while I do that. All right. So I have deleted the IMG structure, my company config. It's no longer here in the IMG. So to add a custom IMG structure, what we want to do is use transaction S underscore IMG underscore extension. We'll go ahead and run this transaction now. Here you should choose SAP Customizing Implementation Guide. If you're wondering where I got that, it's from SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, and the root node here is SAP Customizing Implementation Guide. So that's where you'll find that. It's not going to be populated here by default. You'll have to do that for help for it and find it. So now if we want to enhance the IMG structure, what we need is an enhancement ID. So if I click the F4 help for this enhancement ID, I see right here there's nothing up top for me to choose from. There's some you know enhancement IDs down here for standard SAP objects. But we want to create a new enhancement ID. So we come down here, F5 is the shortcut, and we click create enhancement ID. So I'm just going to say Z my company, and then I'll say my company's uh, configuration settings right so we'll do that click yes we do want to assign that um, I've noticed this guys I can't actually do anything unless I assign this to a package and act like I'm gonna transport it I tried this earlier with you know assigning it to a local object and it just simply wouldn't work so we're gonna assign it to a package a transportable package uh, assign it to a transport request. This is my kind of catch-all transport request. And now we see it's created up here. So now we can click our green arrow. Go ahead and, well, I think at this point, let's, let's back out. I want to look at the IMG at each step through this. Go to reference IMG. We see nothing here so far. Nothing custom. So let's go back into S IMG extension choose the SAP customizing implementation guide node from the IMG go to the F4 help on enhancement ID choose Z my company and click on enhance structure so this is enhancing the IMG with our you know custom Z my company structure so what we can do is under this root node SAP customizing implementation guide we can add several things right we can add an activity an activity is this right here you have an actual activity and documentation associated with it. You can add it, you know, on the same level or as a subnode, so in a, you know, something underneath this folder if you will in the tree view. You can insert a structure node at the same level or you can insert a structure node as a subnode. So what we're going to do here, we're going to create a node under this SAP customizing implementation guide as a subnode. So let's go ahead and do that. Shift F1 is the shortcut for that. And I'm just going to call it my company's custom configurations. Um, we can assign it a document. Well, maybe not for a 
this sort of node, but let's go ahead and create this. So we see here in the IMG, we have my company's custom configurations. So now what we typically want to do is we want to insert another structure node as a sub node, just as a way to sort of subdivide. Let's say I'll do this. I'll do this. Okay. I'll do insert activity, right? So an activity is like this. You're going to have documentation, a runnable and some text. So under my company's custom configurations, I'm going to insert an activity as a sub node. I'm going to make that activity. Let's just say ZSE 11. And I want to say call ABAP data dictionary. We can assign a document for documentation purposes to this. Um, so when you click on the little, you know, view next to the activity, you can see some documentation. This is extremely helpful for custom developments that won't be changed very often. You can create, you know, I'll, I'll show you this in a minute, but we'll go ahead and do the maintenance objects now. So we have to create something. I like to do this is the same thing as the activity. So ZSE 11, I called it call about data dictionary. I'll do the same thing down here. Select the customizing object radio button, which is the initial choice down here in customizing object. Just to keep things simple, I do IMG dummy for the type over here. I do D for dummy and I insert a transaction SE 11. So this is going to call the SE 11 transaction. Now, if I do save, that's all the info that we need. I'm going to assign it to my transportable package, assign it to a transport request. It's going to be a workbench request. Uh, same thing here, just a couple of different objects getting created. So now, if I back out and save here, I'm going to get a prompt for another, you know, transport request. So now I see under SAP Customizing Implementation Guide, my company's custom configurations and call ABAP Data Dictionary. Now, if I click this documentation, I get down here specify the name of the document so no document is defined but if I click on call I'll update a dictionary since we defined transaction code SE11 it takes me to transaction SE11 so that's pretty neat I can click right here again on this particular node go to change nodes shortcut F5 um, I can give it a document name I can create a document so let's say ZSE11 doc do create and depending on which editor you have configured, it's either going to call the, um, if you're on, you know, the SAP GUI for Windows, it's going to call um, Microsoft Word like this. Or it's going to call, and I, I like to do it the old school way, go to go to and uh, change editor. Take off my user specific settings here for graphical editor. It's going to take me the old SAP script style um, view. So I can say here, this action, well, let's say this activity, since that's what it is, calls transaction SE11. Save that. Assign it to our package and our transport request accordingly. Go on back. And now I want to back all the way out after I save all my work and go to SPRO to look at the IMG. So now we'll see we have all the standard SAP you know, NetWeaver, just all this stuff down here. You would have normally like sales and distribution, uh, plant maintenance, financial accounting. This is a trial system, so we don't have all that. But what we can most importantly see is my company's custom configurations here. If we expand that structure, we see the activity called ABAP Data Dictionary underneath it. If we click the documentation, the documentation that we just created is going to be brought up and displayed. In a pop-up, we see this activity calls transaction SE11. And if we click on the activity execute button, it does indeed call transaction SE11. So let's go do a little bit more customizing here of the IMG. We'll go back into S underscore IMG underscore extension. Uh, we're, I'm actually going to add this as a favorite because I'm going to use it a lot. So I, I've got it selected here. I'll do favorite. So now when I come into this transaction, if SAP Customizing Implementation Guide or the IMG isn't selected, I can double click down here in my favorites, it'll select it. So when we go to enhance the IMG structure, we always need our enhancement ID. Remember this one we created earlier? 
double click on that it will assign it and we can do enhance structure so let's just do one more little example so you guys can kind of get a feel for this I'm gonna have this call about data dictionary as a node directly underneath the parent my company's custom configurations but if we continue to do this it's gonna get very very messy so what a lot of companies I'll see do is they'll come in here and say insert structure node as a subnode and this might be something like you know a custom project a lot of people first break it down by the actual SAP module so this might be um, well let's just say sales and distribution so now you see sales and distribution under here let's add another one let's go ahead and maybe say you know um, let's do financial accounting let's add another one let's just say um, oh I don't know um, project system so now I have all these custom configurations I might have a custom project system report or uh, you know program I might have a custom FI program or a SD program and maybe under this uh, and again this is a trial system so I don't have access to you know the actual customizing tables for these modules but uh, let's let's make another one let's do another one and call it basis so now under basis I can come in I can insert another structure node if I'd like to or I can insert an activity I'll say user management so now under basis I have user management let's insert an activity we can insert it again on the same level as user management or as a sub node so underneath user management let's go ahead and insert it as a sub node under user make sure I clicked on user management insert it as a sub node under user management so now maybe I want to let's say call transaction SU 01D for display user so I'll just say display user document name I'm gonna leave it blank for now we're not gonna assign any documentation to it but I've showed you guys that you can do that as you please so now I'll just say ZSU 01D again I just say the exact same thing display object our customizing object if we want to keep it simple IMG dummy type D and enter our transaction code so SU 01 D go ahead and save everything assign it to a transportable package and a transport request it's gonna prompt for two of those for our IMG activity as well as our maintenance object back out save again choose our transport request and now if we go all the way back to the start menu we can use our transaction bar here we go to SPRO from SPRO we go into the IMG from the IMG we'll see our different configurations our activities and our sub nodes so I can see here I have project system nothing underneath it FI financial accounting nothing underneath it sales and distribution nothing underneath it I have one right here under the my company's custom configurations level called call ABAP data dictionary which calls the ABAP data dictionary under this basis uh, child of my company's custom configurations I have another uh, child node user management let's look under user management I must have added something weird here <laughs> I don't know what I did probably something I shouldn't have yeah so something I just need to remove right there no big deal at all um, we can go in here to display user I didn't assign any documentation so I see document not found but if I click on the activity display user it takes me to transaction SU01D so I could type in a user's name and actually display them from here so like I say this is very very useful for configuration um, that's what the IMG is meant to be used for so if you have a custom program that has a Z table that needs to be maintained it's great to put it in the IMG so you can easily find it um, node text not found just in case you guys run into this issue let's go and try and correct this go into s underscore IMG underscore extension again check our enhancement ID go to enhance structure and let's find our mistake node text not found so no big deal we just click on it come up here and click delete save 
we're going to be prompted again. We'll go ahead and choose our transport, re whoa, transport request and go back into the IMG. Go ahead, click it, go underneath, go under basis, user management, and we see just display user. So that's, um, that's an, in a nutshell how you customize the SAP IMG. This is extremely useful, like I said, if you have all kind of customizing tables for your custom transactions. Um, sometimes SAP partners, partners will do it if they're um, you know, deploying a solution to a customer installation. So you might have, let's say, um, some sort of custom mail sorting solution that you bought from some company. They might actually have an IMG structure, so it's you know some mail sorting solution come in, and you do the config in here for each you know associated component of that. So that's uh, typically what what you'll see that for. Um, like I said, if you're a larger company and you've got a lot of custom developments, this is a huge time saver because you can come in here, and if it's not in here, you know you have to do any further digging. But you know, say for example, you've got a custom application for SD that manages uh, sales order creation and there's some custom uh, you know user exits and things that have been defined and there's a Z table that manages like you know valuation mapping or maybe this customer should receive you know these goods anytime a sales order is created you can manage that in here if you have a custom mapping table um, so it's just a, a wonderful way to kind of keep everything not so in the dark and tuck back it's a uh, it's a more upfront way to to manage configuration so if you guys have any questions as always i've scratched the surface on this one i'm not going to go too terribly deep into it because you can kind of go down a rabbit hole with some of this stuff but this should cover the most basic needs um, thank you guys so much for watching as always if you have any questions please leave me a comment uh, my email is generally somewhere to be found on these videos um, you can, you know, if you really like this video, please leave me a like. It's good incentive for me to know that this subject is something I should further make videos on. If I really helped you out, leave me a subscribe. And uh, as always, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.